guys today we are going to learn one of the most important concepts in induction motor that is the basic principle of working of induction motor this topic is also important from gate perspective at, as most of the time we can see a question from this topic so now how does the stator of the induction motor looks like it looks something like this and here we have three phase windings placed on the stator that to those three phase windings are phase dis phase displaced by 120 degrees so this is our a phase winding then 120 degrees from this we have our b phase winding and further 120 degrees we have c phase winding so we are assuming three phase balance circuit so three phase windings are space displaced by 120 degrees and also phase displaced by 120 degrees so now if we assume currents in these three phase winding something like this current is coming out of the plane in this one and current is going into the plane in this one again current is coming out here going inside coming out here and then going inside now to find the direction of magnetic field we use the right hand thumb rule which states that if we curl the finger in the direction of current the direction of thumb points in the direction of magnetic field now since current is coming out here and going inside from here fingers are curling like this so magnetic field points downwards so this is the direction of magnetic field or mmf Again for B phase, if we plot, it will be going in 120 degrees to this, like this, and for C phase, it will be something like this. Now we know MMF is equal to number of turns into current. So if we assume a positive sequence current, positive sequence is A, B, and C. So first I am assuming that we are considering positive sequence. and number of turns in each phase are equal so i m will be given something like this i m sin omega t i v will come out to be i m sin omega t minus 120 degrees i c will be I am sign omega t plus 120 degrees. Now, if we multiply number of turns in each current, we will get MMF. So, MMF will be n into I m sin omega t that is F m sin omega t. Similarly, F b will be F m sin omega t minus 120 degrees. F c will be fm sin omega t plus 120 degrees now what i want to know is the direction of the resultant magnetic field due to all these three phases so first i am considering the instant when omega t is equal to zero so omega t is equal to zero gives us f a will be equal to zero f d will be equal to f m sine of minus 120 degrees that is minus root 3 by 2 fm fc will come out to be fm sine 120 that is root 3 by 2 times fm now this minus sign indicates that the direction of mmf is opposite to the axis that we assume so negative sign indicates direction of MMF is opposite to axis. So now if we plot these three MMFs, FA is 0, FB is negative, so FB will come out to be something like this. And since FC is positive, it will be along the axis.
So now to find the resultant magnetic field, we can use parallelogram law. And this is the resultant vector. By parallelogram law, this will come out to be 3 by 2 times Fm. So our resultant magnetic field is towards the right with the magnitude 3 by 2 times Fm. Now we consider another instant where let us say omega t is equal to 90 degrees. Then Fa will be given by Fm. Fd will be given by Fm sine of minus 90 degree that is minus Fm by 2. Fc will be given by Fm sine of 210 degrees that is minus Fm by 2. Again if we plot these on the axis then Fa is Fm. So it will be lying like this. Since Fb is negative it will be opposite to the axis. Fc is also negative it will be also opposite. And this angle will be 60 degrees. So now if we take the resultant of these two vectors then it will come out to be something like this. This vector will be Fm by 2. So resultant magnetic field becomes Ft is equal to Fm plus Fm by 2 which is again 3 by 2 Fm but now it points vertically down. So we can see that our magnetic field has rotated by 90 degrees from its initial position but the magnitude is yet 3 by 2 times Fm. So what we can conclude from this is that we have a rotating magnetic field in this case. Rotating magnetic field is produced which rotates at synchronous speed. I am assuming here that you already know the concept of synchronous speed. So, ns is equal to 120 f by p rp. Magnitude of the field is 3 by 2 times fm, where fm is maximum mmf in each phase. Okay, so now we have a rotating magnetic field which is rotating clockwise in this case and it rotates at a speed of synchronous speed. But the thing is that we should not generalize this that it rotates only clockwise direction because if we change the orientation of the winding the direction may be opposite. So what we do is we try to analyze what happens if we consider the negative sequence currents instead of positive sequence. So negative sequence currents what is our negative sequences? A, C, D. So, I A will be given by I M sin omega T. I B will be given by I M sin omega T plus 120 degrees. I C will be given by I M sin omega T minus 120 degrees. So again MMF will also follow in the same fashion. Fa will be Fm sin omega t. Fd will be Fm sin omega t plus 120 degrees. Fc will be Fm sin omega t minus 120 degrees. But still the axis of the MMF are something like this. Fa Fb and Fc. Axis do not change because the windings are still the same. Just the current are now negative sequence instead of positive sequence. So now if we consider again those two instants, first omega t is equal to 0, Fa will come out to be 0, Fb will come out now, Fm 
साइन वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री दैट इज रूट थ्री बाई टू टाइम्स एफ एन एफ सी विल कम आउट टू बी एफ एन साइन माइनस वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री दैट इज माइनस रूट थ्री बाई टू टाइम्स एफ एन इफ वी प्लॉट इज ऑन दिस एक्सेस देन एफ ए जीरो पॉजिटिव इट विल बी इन द सेम डायरेक्शन एंड सिंस एफ सी इज नेगेटिव इट विल लाइक Opposite. And if we take the resultant of these two vectors, it will lie something like this. F T and by parallelogram law, its magnitude will be three by two times F M. So now I'll again consider omega t is equal to ninety to see the direction of rotation. When omega t is equal to ninety. Fa will come out to be Fm. Fb will come out to be Fm sine 210. That is minus Fm by 2. Fc will come out to be Fm sine minus 30. That is minus Fm by 2. So we plot this on this axis. Fa will be Fm. At B since negative, it will be F M by two. Again, since F C is negative, it will be F M by two. So this angle will also be now sixty degree. It is a similar configuration to what we saw earlier. So we know resultant will be three by two times F M. There are two pointing downwards. So now we see initially our magnetic field was pointing towards the left. And now it is pointing towards the downward direction. So we know that the magnetic field is rotating anti-clockwise. So by changing the positive sequence to negative sequence, we can see that the direction of magnetic field reverses, and it now rotates in opposite direction to the initial direction. This concept is very much helpful when we are trying to find the slip in case of inductive motor. So guys in the next class we will cover the basics of induction motor how will the magnetic fields be induced but till now you must remember that the positive and negative sequence currents do induce magnetic fields rotating in the opposite direction thanks and keep waiting for our next video